What's one misconception about you? There are no misconceptions about me. I think of you of, of starting a party at like midnight. Go that, tilt. That's a different type of party. Uh -huh. I know about them. No, I know about them. No, I know about them. Have some of you heard the saying, when someone shows you their true colors, believe them? Well, that saying is coming straight out of the books of Diddyville in the rest of his circus. We all know when Cassie Diddy's ex filed a $30 million lawsuit against him last November and settled within 24 hours, there was definitely more to the story. The graphic nature of what was described in that lawsuit also made me wonder who else is about to go down with him. But before I get into that, I wanted to share with you all just what freak offs mean because that was also something listed in the lawsuit and not just Cassie's lawsuit, but a few others that have been pending. To some, the word freak off or the phrase freak off may come to your mind as a dance battle or a very high level of truth or dare. But in Diddy's case, the phrase freak offs allegedly mean very intense sexual acts with two or more people that's being filmed, no matter the gender, no matter the age or the race. Publicly, Cassie is not the only one who has spoken about the freak offs. Diddy's former bodyguard, Jean Dill, spoke out on the art of dialogue and said that there were not only celebrities in these freak offs, but there were also politicians, royalty, and preachers. And people know there's drugs, there's alcohol, there's loose women, there's loose men, woman on woman, man on man, all kind of crazy sh A singer who goes by the name Jaguar Wright said that these freak off tapes would go for millions and celebrities were in them. Hmm, it makes more sense now to know why so many of Diddy's so-called friends are quiet. But let's take a look at Diddy exposing his own behavior at these parties. Now, yo, listen, listen. Uh, yo, come in here, no homo, no homo. We're gonna get some ladies in here, though, but we're gonna have, we're gonna make sure our breakfast fresh. No, say pause, say pause, 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 pause. pause. Don't acknowledge this, pause, it's nothing to do with me, puff. Nothing to do with me, puff, right now. Let's, hold on, let's get some ladies in here. Now, although some of you may look at this as just some lighthearted, innocent fun, know that everything is not what it may seem. Diddy made his presence known. He made his voice be heard and he made his power be present during any event. We all know that Usher has connections with Diddy dating back to when he was just a young 13 year old boy. Usher made it known that he has seen some things at a very young age and he wouldn't dare allow his kids to go to Diddy Flavor Camp. Dad, now, would you ever send your kid to Puffy Camp? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> but something about Usher's energy around Diddy and Diddy's energy around Usher makes me feel like there was a lot more going on than just a mentor relationship. Something that may have scarred Usher for life. Something he may never disclose. <sighs> But let's talk about these friends of Diddy's because we have the heat just on him right now, but the silence of his friends are hotter. Now, Ellen DeGeneres, a lot of you know her. She's a TV host, she's an actress. She's a close buddy of Diddy's as well, and he's been a guest on her show at least a dozen times throughout the years. They have had hard conversations and lighthearted ones as well, and some about Diddy's parties. I think I could think of you of, of starting a party at like midnight. Like what time will it go that, till? That's a different type of party though. Uh-huh. Bruh. <laughs> now keep in mind, Ellen has been very quiet since the lawsuit Cassie filed back in November. She has not shown support for Diddy, and she has also not spoken out against Diddy and the footage that I know she has seen of Diddy and Cassie in that hotel hallway. Now, Ellen is an advocate for women's rights and abuse victims, so her silence makes me believe that she's got her hands tied up with Diddy like many others. So a lot of us know that Diddy has not openly discussed his own sexuality. Now, although if he prefers men or women or both is irrelevant, his lawsuits against him by Rodney Jones indicates that Diddy may be into anyone. Rodney Jones claims in his lawsuits that he was essayed by Diddy and forced to do favors for other celebrity men like Cuba Gooding Jr. on Diddy's yacht, allegedly. 
Now, Diddy has not shied away from his rainbow behavior, and he has shown that he likes to party. So Justin Bieber is another close friend of Diddy's and AKA victim of Diddy's that may have gotten a bit too far in the ocean with him and can't find their way back. Diddy took Justin Bieber in when he was just 15 years old and from what I would imagine, he wrecked his innocence and exposed him to things that he wasn't ready for. They're having the times of their lives, like, like, like the, you know, where we hanging out and what we doing, um, we, we can't really disclose, but um, it's definitely a 15 year old's dream. Things we saw back then has a whole new meaning. If you have listened to Justin Bieber's song, Lonely, he was trying to tell us all the trauma that he experienced at the hands of big entertainers. No need to say names at all. You could just fill in the blanks. So just get ready, folks. These freak-offs, parties, whatever you want to call them, may be worth millions, but any day now, it's going to cost Diddy his life in prison. Please let me know your thoughts and comments below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you won't miss any updates.